emptying my water tank because every last drop of water counts and is important. <laughs> it's great that we can actually have water in the tank overnight and it doesn't freeze or freeze the tap or cause some other bit of trouble. But I am having an issue, what a shocker, with Leaking. Yeah, there's a crack in there. Things seem to crack all the time. Every year I go through at least one. I just can't handle the cold. I tried plastic, I've tried brass, I don't know what else there is, but um, yeah, it always seems to mess up. So I have to empty out the truck because I have to haul stuff with it and. Um, I am emptying out the tank. There's not quite enough to uh, put into my water tank inside, so I leave a bunch of jugs and buckets and containers full. And this can be used for dog water and dog feedings and all that. So. Yeah, I'm just trying to save every last drop. weather's been messing up my burning schedule. I wanted to burn as much as I could here so I don't have to haul off all the brush to the dump, but because we had some warm temperatures, looks like I have to haul the brush off to the dump. So look how tall I made this. I have to put the tarp over this and haul it off to the dump. This is my second trip of the day. Um, but now it started raining and it did rain all last night so I could potentially do some burning but it is Before that it was pretty dry around here. So it's I mean the fire danger rating is low, which means we can burn but I have so much brush lying around here that You know, I don't want to take any chances. So I'll see it may um, if it rains more and stays cool for a few days then I'll probably do some burning but I have a ton of brush piles to to get rid of and it takes quite a while to load it up. I've got the truck loaded too. You can see the back of the truck there. Not quite loaded, but um, I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more, get some more brush in there and then take that. Then take the trailer, the trailer's only it's not a very big trailer. I think it's like five by eight, so I can only fit so much on there, but I try and cram it as high as I can. And then uh, I put tarps over it and ratchet it down. So there's no, um, yeah, no brush going flying off on the highway. Pretty solid. Just want to make sure nothing's gonna go flying on the highway. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what's been done in the yard. Look at this bad boy. Oh, so much firewood for the future. 
More on the wood cutting progress in the next video. what happens when you forget your shovel to get the brush out of the back of the truck to rely on the emergency shovel yeah I always forget something okay. hand bomb out mulch trip to the dump except I clocked myself in the face with the ratchet strap pulled on it and it got stuck on a branch and then thwacked me in the face so but looks like I came out relatively unscathed um, well well I saw two porcupines along the way and uh, I'll show you a video of one he was in a tree as I drove by right at eye level so cool he was just in this little willow tree it wasn't even looked like it was way too big to fit in that tree but apparently not but then i backed up and by the time i backed up down the road with the trailer on you know they go all over the place if you make the slightest adjustment of your wheel so i had to go backwards quite a bit and by the time i got there he was skedaddling out of the tree so the porcupines are out and about luckily you haven't seen any here i'm home much more now than uh i usually am in the summer so during the day they'll uh you know, get out and about because they know the dogs are locked up, but now the dogs are loose so often that <laughs> they're always running for cover. Hey, what are you doing? Are you running for cover? But uh, I can do some burning now. It's pouring rain. It's hard to keep the fire going. <laughs> There's really no in between. It's either way too hot or it's too wet to really start a fire and keep it going. So I have so many piles around here. This is kind of ridiculous. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I can tell you I am sick of burning and fire smarting and I would like to start another project one day in my life but can't really do that till this is done <laughs>